Hi, welcome to Trailers from Hell. I'm Larry Karaszewski. If you follow me on social media, you know that I'm a huge collector of movie memorabilia. Strange films, stuff you've never heard of, uh, international film posters I love. And one day I'm going through a site looking at some Italian movie posters and I come across a film starring Charles Bronson and Lee Marvin. And I love Charles Bronson and Lee Marvin. Uh, and I know they've made, they made what? They made Dirty Dozen and they made Death Hunt. But this is not the Dirty Dozen and <laughs> this is not Death Hunt. Uh, what is this thing? It's directed by Sam Fuller? What, what is this movie? <laughs> I literally was flabbergasted. And so I did some investigating and I found that it's a bit of a Frankenstein's monster. But it was released in theaters in Italy. It's the meanest men in the West. Back in the 1960s and 70s, Universal Pictures had an editing unit for doing weird fixes, usually for theatrical movies on TV that were rated R, and because they had to be cut for television censorship, needed new material to expand them. So it created these odd bastard versions of films like Three Into Two Won't Go, Secret Ceremony, Two Minute Warning. This movie we are watching now was sort of the reverse. By the mid 70s, both Lee Marvin and Charles Bronson were two of the biggest box office stars in the world. And someone noticed that they both had appeared on the Western TV series, The Virginian, way before they were Hollywood leading men. The Lee Marvin episode is from 1962. Bronson's episode is from 1967. The episodes have nothing to do with each other. Someone had a big idea. Cut these episodes together and pretend it's a new movie. Problem, it made no sense whatsoever. I'm not even sure how this was legal. How did SAG let this happen? Did Bronson and Marvin even know what was going on? Analyzing the film, it appears they shot a new opening with James the 15 heartthrob actor Lance Kerwin as the young Lee Marvin. In the new footage, Lance's mom dies giving birth to baby Charles Bronson. Lance's stepdad goes nuts, beats Lance, Lance murders the father, and holds the baby responsible for killing mom. They then awkwardly cut to Marvin and Bronson all grown up, an insanely complicated voiceover about how they are now both outlaws who hate each other and ride separately, and that's why you never see them together in the film. It's nuts, and it's, it's absolutely impossible to follow. Marvin's episode of The Virginian was titled, It Tolls for Thee. That's the one that's written and directed by Sam Fuller. Fuller has some good scenes, Marvin and Lee J. Cobb talking good and evil. Bronson's episode is titled The Reckoning and features a young Charles Grodin in a rare bad guy performance. Both episodes have plots about kidnapping, but they don't intersect in any way. The lead of the Virginian, James Drury, is here reduced to third or fourth banana. The Virginian was an okay Western series. Quentin Tarantino gives it a shout out in both Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and Death Proof. It ran forever, nine years, 249 episodes. It deserves better than this editing nightmare. And it's not the only film being used for pieces here. Near the opening of the movie, through magic editing and blue screen work, both Lee Marvin and Bronson are put into a bank robbery sequence from a completely different film. Now, I think the movie is The Return of Frank James, so technically, you can say hey, Fritz Lang had a hand in directing this as well. The stitching together is a mess. Bronson holding a gun in the bank with a chroma key halo around him. It's rock bottom. It kind of reminds me of the Bruce Lee movie The Game of Death, made years after Bruce died and cut together with Bruce reaction shots from different movies and different film stocks. This movie is like that, but with two actors not appearing together. It's actually quite fascinating. You can tell I had a good time watching this with my jaw wide open, but I can't possibly recommend it. So watch at your own risk. It's true to its title. These really are the baddest men in the West.